Hello? Good evening, everyone. Ah, as you can tell, I'm on my holidays. So I have been lucky enough to actually been able to get away. I didn't think it was gonna happen to be honest because I knew you had to be like double vaxxed to get into some places and stuff and I've only had one job. So I didn't think it was gonna happen but then Croatia got put on green list and I was like, right, I'm booking a flight right now. So I am here in Croatia with Lewis, Flossie and Fuzz. I don't think you've met Fuzz but she's my friend. I don't think she's ever been in one of my vlogs before. Flossie and Lewis are getting a later flight because for some reason I did book my flights when I was a wee bit tipsy, I'm not gonna lie. And I booked my flight for 6.30 so I had to wake up at three this morning morning I had a one hour sleep but you know what I'm actually kind of happy I did because like now I'm here and I've got the full day so yeah we're staying in Split in Croatia we're here for a week it's gonna be good times I'm literally so excited like I'm just ready to tan I've got quite a good base tan at the minute because it was so hot in London for a while first on the agenda though you know me I'm not good without breakfast I don't function that well we were really late for the flight and we were like literally sprinting through the airport so we couldn't stop and get food so we didn't have any breakfast I did get some pretzels in the plane, but that's not a substantial breakfast. So actual fuzz, the first thing we're doing is we're going to get some stuff from the supermarket. You know what my go-to lunch is on holiday? A baguette, lettuce, tomato, and ketchup. You're gonna judge me, but just wait till you see it later on. You'll be like, fuck, I want one of them. I would never eat it at home, but it just hits different here, okay? Also on the plane, I can't sleep. Like I'm so bad at sleeping on the plane or like in cars or anything, I just can't do it. And fuzz would like would pass out the second we got on the plane. So I was just sitting there and be like, what do I do? So I just browse the Judy Free magazine. I fucking love that magazine. I read it about 15 times, even though it's, like, there's nothing to read, it's just pictures. But there was a teddy bear on it and I had to buy it. How cute is that? Oh my God, I love it. It's my teddy bear for the holiday. It's called Gibby. I've decided, Gibby. So this is what I'm wearing to the shop. I'm wearing this like wee sarong. It's from Beginning Boutique and I've got a matching um, bikini on at the minute as well, but you can't really see it. Oh my God, sorry, that was a bit risque. And then I've got a tote bag because I'm not a tote bag bitch. I don't know, for the longest time I was like, why does everyone carry those around? But like, it just, it's giving me summer vibes. I've obviously got my Crocs on and yeah, I'm ready to go shove three baguettes down my throat. I feel like I have really, really bad ingrown hair down there and I don't know what to do about it. Like, do you pop them? I've never had one before. How mad is that? I've never had proper ingrown hair in my whole life of shaving and I shave a lot because I'm a hairy gal, but I do get an ingrown hair. I wonder why that is. Right, let me give you a quick villa tour and then we'll go to the supermarket. So I actually filmed this house tour like on the last day, hence why it's so messy. But this is the inside of our villa. It's all right, it's quite like plain, boring, but the, the real star of the show is about to appear. You walk around here and look at the pool. Is it not so nice? It's huge and we had it all to ourselves and it's right beside a church that's ding-donged every 10 minutes. We had an outdoor shower. Oh, I would do anything to be back in that pool right now. Okay, we've made it back from the supermarket. Look what we got, the shells. You know you can get them in little apparently. Really? Yeah. I look like a little Victorian boy. Got some tequila as well, because we're tequila gals. Have I told you about tequila and apple juice yet? I don't think I have, because Buzz, you put me on to it. Tequila and apple Yeah, I love yeah, it now. Yeah, tequila yeah. apple juice. You're like, mm, don't know about tequila. Yes. Yeah, we're always vodka drinkers. I know, I used to be vodka, but I feel like tequila makes me such more of a happy drunk. Tequila's an upper. It is. It's... It makes everyone go like, uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, I could only ever shot it because I didn't like the taste of it. And like, I didn't know what I was gonna mix it with. I do know Dua Lipa has tequila, soda, and lime, which is kind of terrifying for her. Because she said it once in a TikTok, and I was like, I admire it, like it's cool, but I just couldn't have tequila and soda. So I tried it with apple juice because that's what Fuzz drinks and it is delicious. So if you're wanting to get into tequila instead of vodka, if you're of the age, then try it with apple juice. It's delish. Lunch time. Well, what the hell? I've got my iced coffee and baguette. What have you got? Salami sandwich. Mmm. Oh, I cut them into tiny pieces. Oh, that's so cute. And we got a wee view. We've also got a church beside us, which is so cute. And it ding-dongs all the time. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. I love this part of the oh. villa. No, not this part. This, I love this which, part. Which part? <laughs> Fuzz has got her oh, goggles you on. Me? You know Fuzz doesn't know how to swim. Really? <laughs> she uses arm bands. Oh, you guys are going to so teach cute. me though, right? Yeah. Oh, this is so wholesome. Oh, that's not oh, that nice. Oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ma. Hi. Fuzz brought some goggles for me as well. They are children, so they're a bit small for my face. I've got quite like a large head. I mean, I'd say it's pretty average, but it's an average adult head. Yeah, but you've got really cool. <laughs> Olivia's gonna teach me how to doggy paddle. Yes, no, that is, everyone knows if you ever watch me swim in any sea montages in my like holiday vlogs, I'm always doggy paddling. I genuinely think it's the most effective way of swimming. I really enjoy myself as well. Yeah, like fuck the breaststroke. Hey, happy birthday, Raven! 
I can swim. <laughs> Church bells are singing! <laughs> Does that mean okay, so let me just warn you about the rest of this video. Basically, I could not stop cackling. I caught this like really contagious cackle. We call it the Croatian cackle. Um, we actually all ended up getting it quite badly. It was the only virus that I caught in Croatia was the Croatian cackle. So if you go, like I can't make any promises, you might catch it. Should we do our best dive? I cannot no, dive. <laughs> Should we do sex positions? <laughs> She's a fucking menace. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Okay, okay. You two are doing talking. <laughs> 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 yes. No. yes, do it! Okay, David, don't break. <laughs> So you have to go first, Fuzz, as a dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, update. It is now the evening. I am in my towel, by the way. I'm not naked. I just got out of the shower. I'm about to get ready now. We're going to go sit in our balcony, have a few drinks, eat so many lays. And then we're going to go out for dinner. But I, I'm trying to decide what to wear. I got this in Zara the other day. I don't know if it's going to fit me because the Zara sizing is it's terrifying. I never know if I'm a small or extra large. I got this cute wee pink bodysuit, which I think would look so cute with the tan. I've got a bodysuit from Zara before and I really liked the cups in it because they're really small, which is good for small boobs. If you have big boobs, I wouldn't get a Zara bodysuit. And then I got the, like, the matching skirt. And I just thought together that would maybe be quite nice. And then also when I was in Zara, I got this cardigan and i am literally obsessed with it recently i've been obsessed with cardigans a cardigan with a big chunky shoe and a little mini dress is my favorite thing to wear and i wear it kind of off the shoulders you know what i mean it's just my favorite thing ever so i think with these two colors go together i think green and pink are quite cute if not i have got a white cardigan as well i don't need a cardigan at all it's quite warm here but um i just think it really pulls an outfit together uh, i also couldn't bother to wash my hair so that's the state of it. It's got like tanning oil in it. It's fucking disgusting. I've lost all my extensions because apparently because of the heat, it like breaks down the glue. So I genuinely have about three extensions left in my hair. So I can't wear it down anyway. So I'm gonna have to wear it up. That's why I didn't wash it. Like if I was wearing it down, I'd obviously wash it. But I'm thinking like a spiky bun, something fun, who knows? I don't really love wearing my hair up because I've got a really uneven hairline. Not that there's anything wrong with uneven hairlines. But like mine is rather receding. So I try to keep my hair down as much as possible. Okay, so I actually ended up not wearing that outfit. This is the thing, everything, like every outfit looks so good in my head and then, are you okay? And then I try it on and I'm like, I hate myself. But anyway, I went with this outfit instead. I think it's still really cute. So this, I, everything's from Zara. This dress is from Zara and this cardigan again is from Zara. It's got like flared sleeves. I think it's so cute. I'm wearing these little white flip-flop shoes even though it's really embarrassing getting my weird like half big toenails out. And you know what? What? I like your twinkles. My twinkles? Yeah, I think they're cute. They're really horrible. <laughs> this is our view. It's actually so cute. Oh. Oh, you look cute. <laughs> Gonna have a wee drink here in some lays and play some the girls' bathroom, the Sophie and Chinsy game. Exciting. I've got a Silla, that's great. Oh! Send a shot to the hottest person in the room. I'll give it to myself. <laughs> that's a good answer, that's a good answer. Oh, great song to come on. If your name ends in an A, drink. Oh, that's me. That's you. Yeah. And you. Don't disclose my <laughs> government name on camera. <laughs> Sorry. Let the group change your profile picture. Oh, that's a oh, fun one. Yeah. <laughs> this is what he has to do. It's a photo of him with loads of marshmallows in his mouth. It's kind of cute. Oh. <laughs> Done. Film a trending dance and post it on your socials. Dare you, dare you, dare you. Mark. What if I vomit at the table? Sorry. 
Cheers to Croatia Cackle. Cheers. 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 Cheers, okay, so I didn't vlog yesterday because it was just a really intense tanning day. I just sat with her all day and then went diet drinking again last night. I've been drinking it like three nights in a row now. It's not like me and I'm not really uh, coping well with it. Also, I lost both my pinky nails and it's made my finger look so chody compared to the other ones. Do you know what I mean? Like, what is that we chode at the end of my hand? Today, we are going to a beach club. I've only ever been to one beach club. I went to O Beach in Ibiza and I saw Wayne Lineker. It was pretty, it was an incredible experience. Not, it wasn't incredible. It was just like, Oh my god, that's actually Wayne Lineker. Hey, do you want an outfit out of the day? I got this wee sarong. Oh, it's literally not tied properly. I'm wearing this wee sarong that is falling off me. That I got in a charity shop um, for three pounds, what a bargain. And then I'm wearing these shoes, which I stole from Fuzz. And I don't know what this bikini's from. It's actually my sister's that I saw. So that was a really good outfit of the day. And if you want any of the, of the stuff that I just said, you actually can't get them. But that was like when you ask someone where their clothes are from and they say like their mum got it for them. I got like sent this hat by Ami Paris. It's like a design and it's really really cool but it's obviously a bit like it's a bit it's a bit out there in it i want to wear it for a photo but i think i look really stupid do i no it's cool i just i don't have the confidence you need confidence to wear something like this oh my god also i literally completely forgot to tell you so obviously Flossie was meant to fly out and join us and um, she's just moved into her new flat so she was busy and stuff so she had to get a flight the day later. Obviously you have to do a test to come out here. So we all did ours and it was completely fine, came out and then she did hers the day she was meant to leave and um, it came back fucking positive. Like that her child. She was like so looking forward to going on holiday and then she got COVID. So yeah, Flossie is sat at home dying. Like she, she has proper bad symptoms apparently as well. And then we also shit ourselves because we were like, we saw her like four days before she did her test. We didn't know if we would have to quarantine because obviously like if you come into contact with someone, but you only have to quarantine if you saw them two days before their test. So we don't count as a contact. And also we've been doing tests as well and we're negative. Not that that matters because you would still have to isolate even if you had a negative test. But we don't count as a contact. Contact, thank God because then we would have been stuck here. Not that it's a bad place to be stuck at all Also while we're on the topic because I feel like I will get loads of comments about this in case you're wanting to go away In case this video has inspired you to go on holiday test wise because I had no idea until I actually went on holiday So I'm just giving you some advice. You basically have to do a test to go out there and then we brought lateral flow test with us just to do it every day in case and then you have to do another test to go home and then you have to do a test the day after you get back to England so it, it can be quite pricey buying all the tests just warning anyone in case you didn't know we've come to a beach club we've got this wee bed fun we just don't want to drink like this is this is the current beach club setup got my hat I just posted an Instagram in it which is quite spontaneous I mean I'm trying to post more on Instagram to go Go check out my Instagram if you haven't. But yeah, we chilling. I love Fanta on holiday. Fanta is potentially one of the best fizzy drinks. Not gonna lie, fuck Diet Coke. I like I like Coke Zero, but Diet Coke now it tastes a bit strange. I don't know. Anyone else agree? Love this song. It is now the next day. I am feeling a little bit fragile. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a Croatian cackle trigger warning. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Basically, we did go out last night, which was a silly move because we did have the boat this morning. We had to wake up at half seven. What time is it now? 9.30 and we're still not there. Yeah. 9.30 we're sat around with a smoothie as if like, this guy isn't waiting for us. Yeah, we were meant to be there at 9 o'clock and we're just sitting having a smoothie <laughs> and it's half nine. I got a peach, banana, berry, almond milk smoothie. I wasn't listening, can you list it again? It's a big rose. <laughs> she has the cackles this morning. Look how pretty Croatia old town is. Wow. Last day vibes. How's everyone feeling? <laughs> yes, we rented a speedboat for the day and apparently there's this thing called a blue lagoon. So I was right up my alley. Because I can swim in deep sea as long as it's like very, very clear. So I feel like I should be fine. <laughs> Hello. Also, who likes my necklace? Fuzz made me it. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Today. Hello. Nice boat. Thank you. 
<laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> Me and Marcel cruising the ocean. Guys, we've made it to the Blue Lagoon, and what the fuck? I'm literally in the Maldives right now. It's so blue! It is the Blue Lagoon after all. Now we come for lunch to this really cute wee <laughs> island. And there's the sea. And I got tomato pasta. Yummy. I literally, I can't tell you how many bowls of tomato pasta I have eaten this holiday. And just like that, it is our last night in Croatia. I am so sad. I've had such a good time. I think I have very severe sunstroke, to be honest, after that day in the boat. You never really realise on a boat because it's quite breezy. Like last year when we went to Ibiza, I, I was not okay after the boat i was so burnt and it's just happened again so that's great so basically fuzz had to get a flight today early so she's away now to the airport and me and lewis are going out for a nice little romantic dinner for two on a pier i think exciting i think it should be really really wholesome i'm wearing this white dress from beginning boutique and it's like that at the back anyway off to dinner for our last night i'm actually i'm i'm not excited to go home but there's quite a lot going on at home like do you ever get like on holiday you get so stressed because like you can't do anything I, I, maybe i'm just I, I i overthink a lot i make a lot of lists i think this holiday i'll be making lists of everything i need to do when i get back i do like getting back into a bit of a routine do you know what i mean i've got a busy month ahead i've got lots of stuff coming out for you this month because i i basically just just take july as my holidays like i did not work once here we are <laughs> it's literally a romantic dinner for two like we're nowhere near anyone else oh but this is really pretty yeah. what are you thinking of getting i don't know i think i might push the boat on and get tomato pasta really yeah look at the mark where my necklace was oh my god it's not really bad we're sitting here reading emma chamberlain's vogue looks this is our dinner entertainment she looks good she always looks good love her Guys, I pushed the boat out and I got tomato pasta. My second bowl of tomato pasta today. Woo! Hammy pizza. I forgot to do an outro. Whoops. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And I love you. Uh, the fuck? I'm sorry for being a bit shit with posting. But I have lots of fun videos coming out this month. This background could be a, could be a hint. Where am I? You may ask. Find out in my next video. I have no nails left. Why does it look like such a chode? Anyway, bye. I love ya.